We're sitting here with Liz DeLeon. Um, Liz has been a part of True Fire Youth Ministry since when? Uh, since back. Back in the day. Actually, since I was 13. And you are how old now? 21. Liz, you graduated from San Marcos High School in 19... I mean 19. In wow. 2000... 2002. 2002. <laughs> What made you decide to come all the way here to Lynchburg, Virginia, to Liberty University? Well, I decided to come to Liberty University um, three days before classes were going to begin. My parents drove me 24 hours straight um, just to get me here for my classes. And I definitely missed freshman orientation, which I had to make up. There was no getting away from it. Um, but the reason I came is because I wanted to get a Christian pers perspective um, and just grow further in my faith and not only that but to grow my own faith and not on my parents which um, I found out is not so easy um, after depending on them so long but I've grown so much and it's worth it and God has shown me many marvelous things and um, come to find out he's so amazing um, he takes care of me and he's my provider and he's all I need yeah but I mean it's 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 such a far Far, far away. I mean, there's so many other Christian colleges, Christian universities that are closer. What made Liberty that much different that you came this far? Well, um, how do I say this? Uh, I guess God placed a desire. He placed desires in each and one of our hearts, and um, which is His will. And He definitely placed it on my heart to do international business so I knew that him taking me this far um, was just a tiny taste of what he was going to do in my life and now he's given me a desire to go to Brazil. I lived in Cairo, Egypt for two months and I look forward to going back because I miss the kids so much. I have um, a little kid named Carolos over there that I sponsor um, but it's just amazing and there's no way that you can go on a missions trip and not come back to you. Um, so I look forward to going to Brazil. But anyways, it's, the reason is because God has placed a desire in my heart and I knew that was just a taste of where He wants to take me. Now, um, what do you want to say to some of our young people back in San Marcos that maybe, have a, maybe aren't thinking about going to college? You know, maybe they just want to graduate. Maybe they're just trying to just graduate and maybe just get a job and try to live, you know, off the, you know, a job for the rest of their life. I mean, how would you, what would you say to them? How would you encourage them to want to pursue a, an education? There's probably many reasons why you've chosen not to attend a college or further your education, but I don't believe that you're helping anyone else, um, including yourself by you just settling for less and it might be because somebody said that you couldn't do it and so you just decided to accept that and you're settled with where you are but it's not right for you to be like that. I would encourage you and challenge you to go further and just like Roman says, it's a transformation of your mind. Um, so you just rebuke all those negative thoughts or negative words that people might have said to you and you just press forward to, towards your goal, you know what your desires are. Um, I don't, and I believe God has placed those, those desires in your heart, so um, just ask for God's strength, He's always with you, and not only that, but you can do some things to help you um, grow, like reading your Bible, um, doing personal journals, and just quiet time, and also accountability that way. Thank you, and just keep on going on and pressing forward, and um, pray, always pray, um, and push, um, meaning pray until something happens. Um, it's so true, it's not, it's cliche, but it's true, cliche is true. That's all I have to say, and thank you, and 